Black holes are one of the major mysteries of the universe. For decades, they were only speculated about, and then scientists couldn't get footage of them for decades more. But now they're there. Black holes are already being filmed, and it's worth seeing. This is Infinity, and in this episode, I'll show you the black holes that were caught on camera. Probably all of you know at least vaguely what a black hole is. Scientifically, it's a region of space-time which gravitational attraction is so great that even objects moving at the speed of light cannot leave it. In simple terms, black holes are powerful vacuum cleaners of the universe. Only if from a usual vacuum cleaner it's possible to take out a dust collector and see what's accumulated in it, then it's impossible to take out anything from a black hole. It's unreal to extract any information from the black hole itself. It sucks into itself absolutely everything in the vicinity, making creepy noises. Studying these mysterious objects is a very difficult task. Initially, many people thought that a black hole was literally a hole somewhere in the universe. But then scientists found out what it really looks like. It's a hole with a beautiful accretion disk around it. If you've seen the movie Interstellar, you know what such an object looks like. It was shown very well in Christopher Nolan's film. Black holes are far away from us. Even the closest black holes are several thousand light years from Earth so it's impossible to capture them from all angles and to obtain very high-quality pictures. For now, we can be satisfied only with graphic images and animations. But for more than three years, we have at our disposal real images of the black hole. The very first image was obtained in April 2019. Before that, no one had managed to photograph the universe vacuum cleaner. Clearly, the image leaves much to be desired, but this isn't surprising. The distance to this black hole is 50 million light years, or 310 trillion miles. To get an image, it took a network of eight telescopes located on different continents. By the way, scientists photographed not just a black hole, but one of the most massive black holes that can exist in general, because it was larger than our entire solar system. Subsequently, the images have been improved. Last year, scientists again photographed this black hole located in the center of galaxy M87 and got a clearer picture. And not so long ago, scientists photographed another black hole, which is called Sagittarius A. In May of this year, they photographed an object that is not 50 million light years away, but right in our galaxy. This vacuum cleaner is located in the center of the Milky Way and, in fact, is its master, directing all the processes in the galaxy. The quality of the image again leaves much to be desired, but soon scientists will definitely improve the picture. In the meantime, they know what this object is millions of times more massive than our sun. It's also known that this black hole is much smaller than the one that was photographed for the first time in history. For comparison, if Sagittarius A is a donut, the hole in galaxy M87 is an entire stadium. By the way, although Sagittarius A is located in our galaxy, it poses no danger to us. This black hole is 27,000 light years away from us, so it will not swallow us up, at least not in the near future. And what about this image? A huge black hole is hovering over the Washington Monument and is about to engulf not only the United States, but the entire world. Do you think such a shot would be realistic? Or would that black hole have time to devour our planet before anyone got a camera? Share your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned. In a few seconds, you'll see a black hole that makes all the others look like nothing. Tun 618 The Tun 618 black hole is located about 10.5 billion light years away from us. And this is very good news because if this monster were anywhere near us, there'd be nothing left of us. Because it's the most dangerous black hole in the entire universe. Because it's the biggest black hole. It has an estimated mass of 66 billion solar masses. If such a black hole were in the Milky Way, there'd probably be no trace left of it. Well, there'd be no trace of the solar system for sure. The black hole itself was discovered in 1957 while photographing blue stars that do not lie on the plane of the Milky Way. A more detailed study in 1970 identified Tun 618 as a quasar. That is, the black hole is rather only part of the whole Tun 618 system. This quasar shines very bright light. It's 140 trillion times brighter than our sun. Because the gas in the accretion disk moves at a very high speed, the black hole creates an exceptionally strong gravitational force. All in all, it's a real universe monster. 0014 plus 81 
This black hole is no less dangerous. It's also classified as one of the largest in the entire universe. As in the case of TUN 618, 0014 plus 81 is a quasar. Scientists have concluded that its mass is 40 billion masses of our Sun, and the physical size of the quasar has a radius of more than 62 billion miles. So scientists realized that before them is one of the most massive black holes in the universe. The quasar shines so brightly because of the enormous amount of matter that falls into its center through the accretion disk, accelerating and producing light. This object is called a blazar, the brightest type of all active galaxies with supermassive black holes. If quasar 0014 plus 81 were only 280 light years away, it would shine as brightly as the sun. But the blazar is 22 billion years away, so it wouldn't blind or absorb us. Speaking of absorption, all black holes are known to absorb objects nearby, but some do so much more actively than the average black hole. So in 2018, astronomers found the most voracious black hole in the universe. They called it J2157. Its appetite is incredible. Scientists believe that this black hole could eat our sun in just two days. And some researchers are even sure that the black hole devours one star every day. This black hole is growing so fast that it shines thousands of times brighter than the galaxy in which it's located. Scientists believe that if this black hole were in the Milky Way, there would be no life on our planet because it would be destroyed by the radiation of this black monster. Another dangerous black hole is on the way, which is a quasar. H 1821 plus 643 is located in a giant cluster with a strong cooling current in the Draco constellation. By the way, an interesting fact for Harry Potter fans. Draco Malfoy is named after this very constellation, which is several hundred light years away from our planet. Scientists discovered this black hole in 2014 and were amazed. After calculating its mass, they came to the shocking discovery that H 1821 plus 643 is 30 billion times heavier than our Sun. Thus, it's one of the largest, heaviest, and most dangerous black holes in the entire universe. This black hole can easily eat any planet or star. The process of matter absorption by a black hole have been repeatedly studied by scientists, and even computer animations have been created based on them. We know what happens when a black hole absorbs something, but what happens next? What processes take place inside this hell? And what can be inside the black hole itself? Watch to the end to find it out. According to one of the most interesting theories, there may be portals inside black holes that lead to different places of our universe. This was suggested a long time ago. In 1916, Austrian physicist Ludwig Flamm put forward a hypothesis that solutions to Einstein's relativity equations suggested that there could be white holes inside black holes. Subsequently, Einstein and Nathan Rosen extended Flamm's theory, suggesting that these white holes could be bridges leading to other parts of the universe. Thus, there could be something like wormholes inside black holes. If you go back to the Interstellar movie, you probably remember the scene where the characters entered a wormhole and found themselves in another galaxy in a matter of minutes. The same could be true of falling into a black hole. There's another theory according to which a black hole can lead not just to different places in our universe, but transport an object to another parallel universe altogether. This may seem far-fetched or naive, but it was stated by Stephen Hawking himself. I think we should believe the professor who's made a giant contribution to the study of these voracious space objects. Hawking speculated that unfortunate space travelers trapped in a black hole could never return to their own universe, but could emerge elsewhere. Perhaps theoretically, such travelers would find themselves in a universe where completely different laws of physics apply and where everything is arranged differently in general. You've all heard of the Big Bang Theory, according to which the universe was in a singularity an infinitely dense and hot spot, and then there was an explosion and the universe was born and began to expand rapidly. An interesting detail is that inside black holes there's also a singularity. Space and time in it cease to have any meaning, and all known laws of physics cease to operate. Scientists believe that the same can be said about the singularity that gave birth to our universe. Considering this, inside black holes could be not just portals to other universes, but the universes themselves. Some physicists believe that black holes generate new universes. Some black holes can rotate at light speed, which creates a very powerful spin inside the singularity. These spins accumulate energy, which is released and leads to the Big Bang. 
However, we can never see such an explosion because of the black hole event horizon. If you've already begun to prepare for a space expedition to the nearest black hole to get inside it and move to another universe, take your time. After all, portals and passages to other worlds inside black holes are only a theory. But scientists know almost exactly what happens to an object that gets inside a black hole. In fact, it becomes like spaghetti. There's even a special term, spaghettification. Physicists use it to explain the process that happens to an object that gets into a black hole. According to them, if a person passes through the event horizon and falls into a black hole, it will not be like falling into an ordinary abyss. Their body will begin to stretch and eventually take on a long, thin shape like spaghetti. This will happen because the gravitational force acting on their legs will be much greater than the gravitational force acting on their head. Astronomers have already observed how a black hole easily turns huge stars into spaghetti. Smaller objects or humans have no chance against such a monster. But despite these studies and observations, there are radical theorists in the world of scientists. Some scientists believe that nothing bad will happen to a person if they suddenly find themselves near a black hole. According to them, there's a possibility that there's nothing inside the black hole at all, because black holes simply do not exist in our sense. Some physicists are still skeptical about black holes and question their existence. Mathematicians, on the other hand, are distrustful of the gravitational singularity located in the center of the black hole. They believe that infinity does not exist in nature, and therefore an infinite gravitational field inside the black hole cannot exist either. That's why there's probably nothing at all inside the black hole. Probably there is no singularity there. Thus, scientists' opinions are divided. Some believe that there's something inside the black hole, but it's not clear what exactly, and some believe that there's nothing there at all. That's all, guys. What do you think is inside the black hole? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.